Who are we drawing today? Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster. We hope you're excited and you're gonna follow along with us. I love Cookie Monster. Yeah. Him and Elmo are my favorites. Yes. We hope you're gonna follow along. You need a marker, some paper, and something to color with. All right, let's get started. Let's first draw his eyes. We're gonna draw two circles about this size right next to each other. And I'm drawing them towards the top of the paper so that we have room for his whole body. Now let's draw his pupils, and he always has crazy pupils. So I'm gonna draw one down low on the left side, and then one up high on the right side. <laughs> All right, now let's draw his head. Now he's a furry monster, blue monster, so we're mm -hmm. gonna start right here on the left side, and we're gonna draw a zigzag line that comes around like this, all the way around, and you can draw the zigzags kind of crazy. They don't have to look all the same. And then we're gonna come back and connect to the right <laughs> side. Yeah, just, just like that. <laughs> now we're gonna draw his mouth. <laughs> Let's draw, we're gonna start right here, and we're gonna draw another zigzag line for the top of his mouth, and we want him to draw him smiling, too. Okay, now let's draw the bottom of his mouth. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down like this, and then back up over on the other side. And we can also add little cheek lines on the right and the left, also. Okay, now let's color in his mouth. Now, anytime that we fast forward the video, or if we go too fast, you can always- Pause the video. Pause the video, yeah. Now let's draw his body. We're gonna start right here, and we're gonna draw another zigzag line that comes down, and we're gonna make kind of a raindrop shape. So we're gonna come around like this. Oh, I'm getting close to the bottom. We wanna make sure that we leave room for his toes. toes and feet down at the bottom. I could have probably drawn his head a little higher so it'd have more room. <laughs> Drawing zigzag lines are really fun. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> now let's draw his legs. So we're gonna draw another zigzag line that comes down and another one right next to it. So two coming out the bottom. Yeah. Okay, then we're gonna come over here and his legs are really wide. So we're gonna start over here, and I'm gonna draw it curving, but not come down as far. So it's a little shorter. I'll do the same thing over here on this side. Then we're gonna draw his toes. So we're gonna draw another zigzag line, curving that comes out. And we can do the same thing over here on this side. Now let's draw the bottom of his foot. We can draw a zigzag line connecting the front, his toes, to his heel. And we'll do the same thing over here. Now we got the general shape of his legs and his feet. Let's add some toe lines. So I'm gonna add another zigzag line, two of them, right next to each other for the little toes. We can do the same thing on the right side. Okay, now we got his feet. Let's do his hands. We're gonna start over here, and we're first gonna do his left arm, and I'm just gonna draw a zigzag line that comes down like this, and it's gonna connect back into his waist. <laughs> Now, we're just gonna leave it like that so it's nice and simple. This one over here is gonna be a little trickier, but we're gonna take it one step at a time. This is so that he can be holding a cookie. We're gonna start here. We're gonna draw a zigzag line that comes down, and then we're gonna draw it coming back up. Now let's draw, we'll come down here, and we're gonna draw the outside of his arm coming up like this. And then let's just keep it simple. We're just gonna connect with another bumpy line. Now I know he has lots of fingers, but we're gonna leave those off just to keep this lesson a little easier. Let's draw the cookie. So I'm gonna draw a curve coming up. We're gonna draw a big cookie. And then we're gonna draw another curve down here. Then let's draw bite marks. So we're gonna draw bumpy lines connecting the bottom to the top. What's our cookie missing? Chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. Let's draw little dots inside of it, the cookie for the chocolate chips. How does Cookie Monster usually eat his cookies? Messy. Messy, so let's draw some crumbs. I'm gonna draw lots of crumbs kind of coming down from our cookie, and we can even draw crumbs <laughs> up How here in the air. How do they get up there? Yeah, I, because he's eating it so aggressively. Oh. <laughs> 
They're falling and they're exploding. <laughs> <laughs> exploding cookie crumbs. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jack, we're done. We finished drawing Cookie Monster. Now, your drawing doesn't look exactly like mine, right? Yeah. And it's okay if their drawings look a little different than ours. Yes. Because the most important thing is... To have fun. And to... Practice. Practice. Now, he's going to look a lot more like Cookie Monster once we color him. What color should we use? Blue. Blue. <laughs> now this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it so that you can also take time to color your drawings. Ready to fast forward? Yes. Jack, we did it, we finished coloring Cookie Monster. He looks more like Cookie Monster when he's all blue. Yes, he does. <laughs> We hope you guys take time to color your drawings because they turn out so much better colored in. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing Cookie Monster. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.